comes to taking tests, students at St. Stan's don't freak out. They zone in. I was thinking that I totally got this since I got all the experience from the teachers. Emily Layden is part of the 85% of fourth graders in her class that scored a three or better on the much dreaded statewide English language arts test. In fact, take a look at this chart. St. Stan's is the purple. Their fourth, sixth, and eighth grade students outperform state public and charter schools, city public schools, and diocesan schools in both ELA and math. Their principal says the formula for success is simple. They themselves um, take pride in what they are able to accomplish. And so when you combine that with the excellent preparation that they receive from their teacher, the end result are the types of scores we have. Yeah. The teachers dedicate special time during the day to prepare, but the approach is holistic and the emphasis is not on the test scores. It has to be a skill that they're going to carry with them beyond the state exams. Teachers like Mrs. Zito give students practice packets and incorporate the lessons into their everyday teaching. One student doesn't think he would have done as well if he didn't go to school here. They make it easier and comfortable for you to learn. Maybe in another school, they'd just be piling with you with work. Here, they give you like gradually. This type of education inherent to Catholic schools, but not seen elsewhere as often. A lot of them teach to the test, where we don't do that here. It's a byproduct. Students will be tested again in the spring of 2017. They'll be up against a tough record, though. Nearly all of the sixth grade, 20 out of 25 students, got a perfect score on the math portion. For Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.